Hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you what everybody is trying to do on DaVinci Resolve, and that's export a 360 video, actually in 360, right? Everybody, you can do a search on YouTube, exit, export a 360 video, and you see a bunch of videos on how to edit a 360 video, but none of them show you how to export a 360 video. And the reason why is you can't do it, right? You got a bunch of videos that like, say they can, but they can't. The feature and functionality isn't there. So let's get to this. This is a workaround for it. And um, hopefully this helps everybody. Because I've been using DaVinci now for a whopping like two days um, because I thought it could do what I wanted it to do. And of course, it, nothing ever does anything I ever want to do. Um, everything I ever want to do is always a pain in the ass. All right. So anyway, here you go. So we've got our three videos. And what I did, this is coming out of my Insta360 X3 camera, and I've got three 360 videos. And what I want to do, a lot of these clips are a minute, two minutes, some of them are five, ten minutes along of me on my boat. And what I want to do is create a collage of these and go one into the other into the next. All right, so here we go. We've got our three videos, and you can see here we got. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to export these first. So export, export 360, and I'm going to call this one clip one. And this is all good, H.264, it's a video. Make sure you click, um, you know, export 360, and it's going into my 360 mix directory. Start export. All right, so there's one. Come back over here. We're going to click on the second one, file, export, export 360 video, and clip two. So I'm going to export one back over here. Click on this, file, export, export 360, clip three. There we go. All right, so there's our queue. We're gonna take a pause. I know I'm not gonna hold you here like class um, when I used to teach college, and we're gonna let these finish up, and then we'll start back up as soon as these are done. Okay, we're back. So our export queue is empty. We go over to our export history, and we've got our three clips, um, and they should all be with a nice circle here. If you've got a square or a rectangle, that means you didn't export it as a 360 video. And one thing to note, as I said before, these are all longer clips. So what I really wanted to do is shorten them up and then make a collage that's only like a minute and a half long instead of the 20 minutes piecing these all together. So if we go to each one of these clips, you can see each one of them 34 seconds, this one's gonna be 35 seconds, and this one here is also 36 seconds. So all total, um, you know, it's like a minute and a half. All right, so now that we've got our three files exported to our 360 folder, we're gonna start up DaVinci Resolve. start a new project and the other day I was watching a great video by someone and I really like what he did he always kind of started the same way so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go down to edit and most importantly I'm gonna come up to workspace and I am going to click reset UI layout so if everybody does that we'll all be at the same uh, playing field here all right so now I'm gonna come down to my 360 mix directory I'm gonna highlight all three videos and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drop them into the mixer just like that and now if I come over here you can see these are definitely 360 videos in the previews right okay so I'm going to click clip one and instead of dragging it down to the bottom I'm going to come all the way over to the right so I like how this cursor movement is so and this pop-up will come up with the insert overwrite replace fill in I'm going to say append end. And of course, there aren't any videos right now, so that's going to be the first one. And then I'm going to come over to my second clip. I'm going to select it. I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to append that one to the end. And finally, I'm going to come to clip number three. Come over here and append end. So now I've 
got my three clips. Okay, I can zoom in and zoom out as I wish. And I can move my player head back, and you can see we've got a 360 video. Okay, so good. So now what most people will show you is you go to effects, and you've probably already installed an app called KVR Reframe 360 Ultra. And after you install this, and there's a ton of videos on how to install this, you come over here, you drop it on that, and all of a sudden, hey, magically, um, we've got our video looking normal. Right? And then we can come over to inspect, we can go to effects, and you know, here's where we can start messing around with like the pitch and stuff. And if we come up here, oh, look at we got that little black dot up there. That's not good, right? So how do we take care of that black dot? You've probably seen a bunch of videos on this too. We come to the settings, we go over to image scaling, we come over here to input scaling, mismatch resolution files, and you're gonna go to stretch frame to all corners and save. And you can see the screen moved a little bit. And now if we go to pitch, we look up, hey, no more black dot. And if we go down, hey, no black dot. So we're good. All right, but we're not really concerned about this KVR 360 Ultra, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this off. So we're back to this 360. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to my first clip. And now I'm going to just bring this back a little bit. This clip, shorten it just a little bit. Oh, just a bit. And I'm going to go to video transitions. And I'm just going to do the radio one because that's good. Hopefully, I did that enough to get the effect. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Probably because I'm switching it. And now I'm going to take my radio out. Stop that there. And you rock. All right, we got our radio effect at 360 now, right? And I'm just going to do the one effect. Just to show what it looks like to do it at 360. All right. So. Now comes the, the magic part. We're going to come over to deliver, right? And I'm going to leave this as custom. Browse. I'm going to change this to the 360 mix directory. And I'm just going to make this 360 mix MAV. And everything else here should be okay. We've got our 380, 40, 2160 Ultra HD, 24 frames a second, because that's what I filmed in. And I'm going to go out to render queue and I'm going to click on that set to render one. This is going to go for a little bit, so we'll take a break, come back. Okay, we're back. So our video is all done rendering. One thing to note as this is rendering, you're going to want to see your screen and your video looking weird like this, like a 360 video. If you're seeing your video, looking like a regular video, then it's not exporting correctly. And the reason for that is probably because you come back over to edit and under the inspector and effects, right, in the video, you come over to effects, this KVR reframe ultra 360 or 360 ultra is unchecked, or I should say it is checked. So if this is checked, you want it unchecked everywhere in this video. The other thing you can do is just delete it. Um, that will work too. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, as you're watching this thing render, you want to see it looking like this weird 360 video, okay? Okay. So now comes the last step, and this is the important step. I'm on a Mac, so what I'm doing is I'm going to 
look for or you should look for spatial media metadata injector. So you're going to do a Google search on this. And the first hit you're going to get is from GitHub. And there's releases Google spatial media. So you click on this. And this is going to be how you inject the metadata back into this file to make it back into a 360 file. Okay. And there's some notes here about if you're using a newer um, Mac Mini and things like that. And it not working natively, and you need to like recompile and stuff. So if you do another search for UI work for M1 Mac, you'll come across um, this issue and how to fix it. So like I said, I have the latest and greatest Mac Mini, and this works perfect for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to this screen, and we're going to click on code, and we're going to make sure we've got the master branch, and then we're going to go to this button called code. We're going to click on that, and we're going to download the zip file. So we've got our zip file, and I'm just going to open the download folder. You can see we have this spatial media master that just got downloaded. Okay, I'm going to take that file and I'm going to drop it into my question here just to make things easier. Okay, so now that we've got that downloaded, we're going to come back over to the instructions. And the first part of this is just how to install Python and the Python TK um, application and things like that. What we really are going to concentrate on is this line right here, the test command. So I'm going to come over to my directory. I'm in my home folder. And I'm going to go into the spatial media uh, master directory. And I'll move this over here. And bring this up so it's not on top of my head or behind my head. <clears throat> and then go into the spatial media directory. Okay. Right. So now we're going to run this command. So we're just going to run Python 3, GUI.py. And you should get the spatial media metadata injector program up. If you got that, you're halfway home. I'm just going to quit that. And what I want to do now is I'm going to run this command down here. So if you want, you can install the um, Python installer. And what this will allow you to do is it allows you to create this Python to a script and make it more like an application. Right? So I'm now going to run this command. And you might have to run these you know, if you don't have the Python installer installed. But if you already have that installed, then all you need to do is type Python or PY, I should say installer, space, GUI PY, dash dash window and it does its magic runs through everything and you can see what it says here this will create a GUI app in the subfolder dist or distribution so if we now go into our dist directory you see we've got our GUI dot app now we can go into that I'm going to go Spatial media, master, spatial media, and the dist. And I'm just going to give this a little bit better name than GUI. I'm just going to call this um, how about something like spatial media meta injector. And I take this and I'm going to move this over to my applications folder. Now, I'm going to open this up. It starts up the spatial media metadata injector. And now I want to open that file that we just exported from DaVinci Resolve. So here's that 360 mix. I'm going to open that. And you can see one of the first things it says is my video is a spherical 360 and it's checked. And I'm going to inject that with the metadata. And instead of calling it injected, I'm just going to call it true. And voila. OK. 
in a second. It's done. And here's our true 360 movie. And now if I open this with my Dan Torrent Tracker, we now have the true 360 video. The dot's not there. The dot that's not down there. And boom, we got our video. And you'll see the transition happen in about 15 seconds. And while this is running, if you found this video to be helpful and you think it'd be helpful to others, please give it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Hopefully this helps everyone. There's our little transition. Worked beautifully. And we're still in 360. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. And if anyone's ever in New Jersey, look for us out on the water. NordisphereLLC.com. Hope this was helpful and have a great day. Happy editing, too.